For the last two years I've worked for LICC um, and I lead what we call the Work Forum in that organisation and the Work Forum exists really to equip and encourage Christians uh, in the workplace um, and also to help churches to do that, to disciple people, to be fruitful uh, as they go to work. It's been difficult for um, Christians to connect what they do when they go out to work on a Monday morning uh, with what they, what they do in their, if you like, their private Christian life or their life together as when they're meeting together as church. Love God, love your neighbour. The question is, well, what does that look like with my colleagues at work? How do I love my colleagues at work um, as my neighbours in Christ? It's not about doing more uh, or working longer hours. It is about working excellently um, and wholeheartedly, uh, but it's actually about working for God and making that connection and seeing God as our ultimate boss. Have you thought of yourself as you go through your office door or your factory door um, as, a, as a child of God, as a beloved son or beloved daughter? If you think about your job description, what do you think? What are the values that I see in my workplace? What's, what do I see operating? If you like, what's under the surface that's driving the kind of behavior that, that I actually can see? And how does that compare with the kingdom of God? And sometimes they will be well lined up and we can rejoice in that and support that and encourage it. Um, and sometimes they won't and we'll, we will see that there's a real mismatch between those two. Good workplace values actually are, are a benefit to the workplace itself. So many, quite often people will recognize that things are wrong if you point them out um, and are happy to uh, to adopt a better way because it actually works better. Better relationships at work actually provide a, a better environment and a better outcome for the, for the business or the organisation. It, it actually makes sense, it's just that in our secular world we've lost track of that. We've seen God's blessing through releasing people into that understanding and fruitfulness. Help Christians to recognise that they have a lot to bring into a world where perhaps they've not thought they have a lot to bring. Okay, so it, it isn't not, it's not unique to Christianity. God made everybody, made the whole world. It's not surprising that you see his fingerprints on people and on, uh, on systems. Um, that is just, that's common grace. But our encouragement is that as, as Christians, we have that to bring and we can bring it consciously, intentionally, uh, and with joy as God's children, um, rather than feel it has to be tucked away for a particular time of the week or the day. Uh, or our lives.